All right, we thought we'd do an intro. Um, this is Tinner, Tinner's dad. Um, we're just coming to the end of October now. So it's um, the evenings are going in, the hours went night, the clocks went back last night. Um, so we're only going to get weekends to hunt now. But this is um, Tinner and Tinner's dad. Wishing yep. you all happy new, not happy new year, but good hunting. And we'll see you on the next. What do you reckon, dad? Well, I hope so. Yeah, yes, there's that. plenty more. There's a lovely day to be out today in the sunshine. Um, Rip restricts them when we can go, but we make the most of it. And um, you just, just never know. You just never know. All right. Good luck to everybody. Happy hunting. Cheers. Cheers. Well, just managed to get an hour of an evening, and uh, there's uh, October's hammered, sorted. So Lizzie, Lizzie sixpence, I think. Something like that. Not quite sure which way. Might be a, something else, but I think pretty sure it's Elizabeth. It might be a Henry. Oh, I think it might be a Henry actually. Half grow. Excellent. Oh, that's a nice little silver love token. William the Third. Slightly more detail than most of them I've got, to be honest. So most of them are slicks. And this one's got a little bit of detail left on it, but definitely into the shape of a love token, and there he is. William the Third. Excellent. Well, this Roman's just popped up. It looks like it might have some detail on it. Yeah. There you go. One of the Con House of Constantine. Hmm. Walter. Is it London Mint? Looks like P-L-O-N. So it looks like it'd be a London mint. Homegrown Roman. Nice little head. Cheers. After spending most of the morning walking around, get a good signal, look down and there he is on the surface. He just couldn't write it. I haven't touched him yet. Look at that, he's just laying there. Unfortunately, that is, um, and he's there looking at you. But he's quite fragile, quite light. So, cracking. I'll take a hammy. Nice one. That's the room just popped up. Nice Roman just popped up. There's a zoo type. There's a deer there you can see, or antelope. And there's, I think it's Gallius on the back with the chain mail. Really nice. See the zoo type? Excellent. Sorry about the wind noise. A nice little hammy's just popped up. Nice. Would have been a half group by the looks of it. Cantor. Cut half group? That's pretty unusual. That would have been lovely. Never mind. I'll take it. That'll do. I don't know who it was. Uh, very often get cut half groats. It looks like an arch crown, so it could be an Edward the Seventh or another. Like Excellent. This 
one's just popped up. Full flying if nothing else. And it's that way up. Flying Eddie, long cross, one sort or another. Yeah, well, chuff with that. Ah. Very nice. Go on, him. Well, this has just popped up on a predominantly Roman site. Looks like an eagle mount or some sort. Give it a brush, there. That's it. Under his wings. Not much fingers. <laughs> okay, I'll give it some squirt. No, oh, I'm trying to put it towards it and you're taking it away. That's it, right. Well, I don't know what you think, but I think that looks pretty Romanish. It's got the right patina of it. Sorry, the camera doesn't like the water. Can't focus on it. It looks pretty eaglish to me. What do you reckon, Pops? Hmm, I think it does. But Some sort of mount. Not a seal on the end. No, it? not a seal on the end, unfortunately. Big, just missing, but... Well, only just. Only just. Very nice. That just called me across and said I think I got a brooch. It's huge. It's flat. It's definitely a brooch. Whether it's Saxon, just let me. Whether it's got any detail on it or at all, or whether that's just the plate, or whether it is a plate brooch that's going to have detail underneath the crud. Can't see anything obvious. Can you, Dan? No. No. Oh. It's definitely Roman or Saxon. With an iron pin on it, that end, I should think. And a, Just a little catch plate. A little catch plate, that end. Big, flat brooch. Or... It's well, it is. It, it, no, it's definitely a brooch, but it's just... With I think it would have had something stuck to it probably silver soldered to it. Fantastic, what a monster. Dad's called me over and we've got a bit of silver of some sort. Difficult looking through the lens. We're on a predominantly Roman site. Go on Dad, get your squirty out. I'll hold it. It looks like it's, I would say it's a Roman siliquy. Really? You're going to use that one, eh? Okay. Yeah, so there she is, sat. Alright, don't like the water. That's enough squirty. There's the lady sat on a chair. And then the head should be this side. There you go. No, don't worry. Don't worry about the squirty. There you go. It's a Roman siliqui, silver silver siliqui. Up for dad. Nice little bit. Well done mate. Superb. We've actually got out and it's not rained on us yet. Well that's probably put the kiss of death on it, but well done. Well, Saturday morning with dad and he's just pulled a lovely jet and can we give it a bit a little bit of squirty mate? I think a gentle brush. I think that's enough, that's enough, that's a camera. I think it's Sunday. That's what I said. Exactly. Sunday morning. So oh well, we're out of the weekend. <laughs> That's a lovely, lovely. Looks like it's a French jetting with the fleur de lis all over it. To brush the water off if you screw it. That's it. So yeah, it's in good nick. Fleur de lis in the middle and fleur de lis in the quarters. I don't know what's on the other side. And we've got, oh, a shield. 
shield. Let's see whether that's anything now. No, don't like that. Oh. And it's a shield full of fleur de lis as well. Very nice. Good nick. Well done, Dad. Well done, mate. That will cut half for me. Sunday morning. Been getting nothing but lead, 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 and then now I've gone on. Got a little voided short cross. Oh, there's his chinny chin chin at the bottom and his lips. Could be a John. Nice. My dad's just turned up. I got a couple of clod shots. We think we got a silver seal matrix here. Um, we haven't taken it out of the clod. I don't know if it's going to have the stand or whether it's just going to be the plate. Let's have a look. Oh, oh it's, all... it's all there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Wow, what a stunner. Now, Dad, before you square it, let's get a brush and just give it a brush because it doesn't like the water. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, just, yeah, 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 leave it there. Leave it there, I'll come down to it. Just give it a gentle, gentle brush. Wow. What's that, an acorn in the centre? It looks like an arrow at the bottom. I wonder if he was an archer. An arrow. Looks like a looks like a fingerprint. Feathers. It's an archer's. I reckon it's an archer's seal because you got the arrow, you got the feathers at the bottom, and then you got a clasped hands in the middle. Feddy clasped hands in the middle. Wow. Two hands shaking with an arrow and a quiver perhaps at the top. Whoa. Could it be an archer's seal? I don't know. Oh, this tournament. I'll put those eyes in. No, 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 no. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll rinse that out later on. Look at that. What a beauty. Well done, you. Well, that one's just come up. That's going to do the honours, I think, with the squirty. No, no. Where's the one I bought you? I don't know. Here, that's no good. Use this. What's that? That's no good. Who's that? Oh, I don't. Wait, 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 wait. Well, oh, now I've dropped it. Oh, no, 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 no more war. I can't focus on it. Wow. Hmm. Something going on there. Oh, what? Well. Oh, it's that way up. Look, there he is. It's that way up. King and the crown at the head. Yeah, nice. 
This looks a little bit different. It's obviously a belt mount. Um, I thought it was a brooch to start with, but it's not. It's a belt mount. But it's got a lovely bit of decoration to it. I'll see if I can... It's impossible to try and clean it and film at the same time. Oh, there we go. Lovely little belt mount. Quite unusual. Cross. Excellent. Chuff for that one. A nice little find. It looks like a Saxon pinhead. I think there might be some design on the on the pins themselves. So. Oops, Daisy. Come on. Hang on. It's a little Saxon pinhead. Little ring dot. Nice. Well, this is a nice little hammy. Looks like it's going to be in good condition with a bit of luck. Oh, look at that. A beautiful little hammered. Don't think it's hardly been clipped. Doesn't look like it. An absolute stunner. A really cracking portrait on that. Chuff with that one. That is lovely. Sometimes those little ones are worth digging. That was a 47, and that's a cut quarter. Voided long cross. So it's probably Henry III. That little cut quarter coming in at 47. So, hammies are normally somewhere around 60, in between 65 and 75. But a little cut like that, good little squeaker. Voided long cross. Excellent. Well, finally, stinking cold. Um, cut quarter of some sort. Short cross. Excellent, I'll tell you that. That's been a long time coming today. Cool. Something a bit different there for me. It's a medieval book clasp. A decorated ring at the end here. It's quite nice. Would have had a catch plate on it. Oh, there she goes. Quite nice, quite a nice find. Complete. Oh, medieval. It's got like a slightly more zoomorphic ring on the end, but very nice. Oh, I think I've got a little Roman brooch. Little fan or fly brooch they call them, I think. Tiny little thing, just missing the pin and the little catch plate off the end. Wow, that's a lovely look. I don't know if there's any enamel left. Didn't know what it was. I was rubbing it. I, I thought it was just a bit of scrap, but and then I realised what it was. I saw the underside of it. I don't think there's going to be any enamel left, but lovely little Roman brooch. 
Superb. Well, this is something a bit different. I seem to have a penny stuck to at least two Roman coins. Looks like a Saxon penny. And then it's stuck to a couple of Roman coins. Well, it's definitely looking Saxon. But it's a silver coin, a penny presumably, then stuck to a couple of. Might be onto a hoard. Never know. Interesting. Giving it a bit more of a clean up now. And it's definitely a Saxon penny. I'm not sure of whom yet. It's definitely a Saxon penny stuck to a couple of bronze Romans. Interesting, I wonder if I'll be able to get it apart. We'll see. Wow, what an unusual find. We're actually home now, and it turns out that um, it's at least four um, Saxon hammers fused together. Um, probably King Burgred, we think. Around the 800s, so it'll be go off to treasure. So we've marked the fine spot, we've informed the farmer and the FLO, so it's all above board. And we'll see where we go from there. But all we wanted was one hammer, and I ended up getting a little purse drop or part of a hoard. Excellent. No surprise that we're back out on the field. Dad's gonna give that one a bit of squirty. We might have another coin. Whoa, 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 that's enough, that's enough. Can you see, I haven't got my glasses. Can you see? Have you got any tissues on you, Dad? Yeah. Go on, let's get a tissue out there. Just dab it. I can't hold it. You have to need to dab it. Just gently, gently, so we can see if we can see any detail. Can you see any detail? I haven't got my glasses. It might be Roman. Well, it's not Roman, that's for sure. It's hammered, for sure. Well, no, it no don't, don't rub it. Just dab it. Can you see any? Oh, can't believe I left my glasses behind. I can't see a damn thing. The On the other hand... It might well be Roman, and as I can see, two horses there now. You should screw your bottle in my bottle, Dad. Go on, go on, give it some. Go thumb. on, go on, keep going. I'll rub it gently. You just screw it. That's it. Go on, go on, keep going. Keep going, keep going. I want you to wash it away. Go on, keep going. Just keep going on it. Go on, 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 go on. Go on. I think you're right. Right, tissue, I think it's Roman, or is it Celtic, I think it's Roman, bloody hell, hey look at that, blood red Indian, I don't think it's a red Indian, wow, I'm not sure that what that's on her cheek, can you see what that's on her cheek, no but I can see a a cross underneath her chin. No, no, on the cheek, but along her cheekbones. It looks like there's some sort of writing. No, I think you're seeing something. It's just a little mark. There. No, I can't see anything there. No? Just a little uh, mark there. Okay, well then, it's a cracking denari then. Wow, unbelievable. <laughs> I'm feeling like that. Have I? Well, we've had, we've had time to calm down a bit. Well, I've had time to calm down a bit. I borrowed Dad's glasses, so hopefully I can see. That looks quite a spectacular Roman of some sort. Well, it could be Celtic, I suppose. I think it's Roman. It might be Celtic, I'm not sure. Um, there's no Roman... Well, there is Roman writing on the bottom of that side, so it probably almost certainly is a Roman, but it's a Republic. 
Um, we've never had anything like that. Two horses you can see pulling a chariot. Uh, three stars and a moon above and a star below and then some writing. And then a beautiful face that side with a cross under her chin or his chin. And quite a stunning coin. I can't tell you what Dad called me because uh, we uh, wouldn't be allowed to print it on YouTube. So, but Sorry we got a bit excited or I got a bit excited and frustrated because I didn't have my glasses. But that's lovely. That's another cracking find. Excellent. a rather nice little find as well it's like a medieval brooch with the clasped hands at the end still got the pin very fine pin and a tiny little would have been a little paste stone at the end probably but yeah really lovely little find as well superb Dad's on the Roman. Lovely patina on this little fibula. Looks like a little dolphin brooch. Really nice. There's part of the spring left there. But yeah, lovely. Lovely dolphin Roman brooch. Well, we're running for the trees to get out of the rain. And I may have pulled up some sort of Looks like a Lodgian Saxon brooch with a pin missing. We're going to give it a wipe. We don't know what decorations it's got on it, if any. Oh, hang on, oh. hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoa! Hang on, hang on. Get my big bottle out, will you, mate? Yeah. Wow, look at that! I know, I know. Go on, give it some, give it some squirt. Right, whoop, that will Go on, now give it another one, squirt it off. Keep the bottle level and squirt yeah, it. You, you can go up, no, I can't go it up. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Spot, dot, pattern and all. Ring dot. Ring dot, yeah. Wow. Cool. Unbelievable. Look at that. Well, I'm not going to clean it too much now. It's just a shame the pin's missing. But that looks to me like a Saxon brooch of some sort. Hook tag there, and that would have been the pin straight across. Ha! That's superb. Loving that. Well, it's the last Sunday of the month. October. Pretty sure that's going to be an English jetting. That's a jetting of some sort, that's for sure. Looks like it's been multi struck. Oh, all sorts going on there. Almost like a voided long cross. Really make it out. Right, so I'll give it a quick squirt in and I'll get back to you. Oh, really unusual. It seems to have some writing across the middle in lines and then this side's really sort of triple, double struck all over the place. Oh, yeah, quite nice. Uh, a jetting of some sort. Excellent. Well, Dad's on it now. He's just had a tiny little Roman plate brooch. A pin catch plate was there. Go on and give it a little bit of squirt so we can get some of the enamel. Oh, 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 oh. That's the... 
Wow, it would have been orange. Orange and blue, I think. Normal colours, isn't it? Normal, I think. That beautiful little sunburst Roman plate brooch. Well done, Dad. Cracker, that is. Would have been lovely orange in the middle and mm. all sorts. Well done, mate.